Hello there, this is Peter Beck and I'm the Village Marketer. And today I want to talk to you about personal branding. In fact, what we're going to look at is the where, the how, and the why of personal branding. If you want to stand out from the crowd, then truly you should not overlook these things. It's very, very important, doesn't matter what you're marketing online, to make sure you've got a personal brand that reflects exactly who you are. I mean, after all, it's better to be remembered for something, right, rather than forgotten altogether. Wouldn't you agree? But personal branding has been ignored by many people. They've been hiding behind uh, logos of their programs, their companies, their offers, etc. And I can understand that to a certain extent, but it's also important that you build your own reputation and your own brand around you. After all, how do you know how long the program you're with is going to last? You're going to be here, but maybe it won't be. So why not promote yourself? Build a brand around you. Now, if you're not sure how to get started, I mean, here's an easy way, right? Ask your friends or your fans or your followers to describe you in just a few words. Okay, That'll get you started anyway. I can tell you that. You may not like all the things you get, but try it and see what they say about you. You could be very, very pleasantly surprised. And after all, no branding works unless it's truly authentic, right? So what your friends and fans and followers tell you could give you a really good clue as to how you're perceived, especially if you're an online marketer. And it's a wonderful way to get started. So let's look at how we can brand ourselves. Firstly, in the colour schemes, right? Now in this particular example, the colour scheme from Dean Holland's iPro group is predominantly green, black and white. And D Dean is known for these colours. The, these colours and the fonts that go with them are associated with him. And wherever you see those particular colours, in particular with the font style, you all right, automatically recognise, oh, this is Dean Holland. Now, another way you can brand yourselves is in your copy style. I mean, I'll just use mine for an example here. The copy style I'm talking about here are blog fonts, for example. I use Comic Sans as a font on my blogs. And also, it's the way I set out the blog and the use of images. That's my way of trying to differentiate myself to try and draw attention to Peter Beckenham's blog, okay, by the actual fonts I use and the way I set out the images on, on those blog posts. And even on the images, I use Comic Sans as a font style as well. Another aspect of copy style is the way that you talk. I mean, people relate to this old Aussie marketer who stuck out in a remote Thai village without any power sometimes, etc., by my conversational type approach on my blog. And I also use the same conversational approach when I make posts on my Facebook wall, okay? And if you can see carefully, maybe it's a little difficult to see, but at the bottom there, this is straight from my about page on my blog, and it says, I'm known as the remote Thai village marketer who cares. I keep pushing the remote Thai village marketer. That's my location, that's my point of differential, and that's the way I'm trying to promote myself. Now, another way you can brand yourself is in your design. And if you look here, for example, very famous marketer, Russell Brunson. Now, he uses particular fonts and colors and graphics. I mean, his colors are red and gray and black, right? And these are synonymous with Russell. This is his design aspects, right? Now, whether you look at his website, or his e-books, or even his hard copy books, you can see there, right? 108 proven split test winners, okay? All these show the same font, the same colors, the same graphics. And this is his way of, of having persistent and consistent use of the same familiar combination of colors and fonts that draws your attention and saying, ah, that's Russell Brunson. This is all part of branding, right? Recognition. And again, here's another one, Matt Lloyd from My Online Business Education. Once again, he uses fonts and colors in his logo and on his blog and on, the, and on his website that are consistent and persistent repetition. He's very, very recognizable as a brand, there's no doubt about that, because of the persistent and consistent use of the same combinations. And so, design is a key aspect of you branding yourself. Now, another way you can brand yourself is in your particular expertise. In other words, your skill set. My advice to you is this. You need to become a go-to person at something. It doesn't matter what it is, right? 
and maybe you haven't got to be the brilliant expert or the guru just a go-to person somebody that that at least can give some answers to things maybe it's in video video marketing maybe it's in list building maybe it's in search engine optimization seo or copywriting could be in facebook post engagements i mean it doesn't matter the key issue is to educate yourself so you can be perceived as some sort of authority in something so build yourself a real character online that that's associated with this expertise that's the message i'm giving you there get your skill sets going okay never stop learning never ever stop learning and this is a way to truly differentiate yourself and truly brand yourself as a very very special sort of marketer now another way you can brand yourselves is in your presentation style now just quickly using my examples here here is my facebook profile page and as you can see pretty obvious right thai village that's the other end of our thai village right i don't live in a grass hut <laughs> don't worry about that right but the idea is to be consistent okay and i try to express my presentation presentation style as someone who's direct someone who's passionate okay about what they do and what they think about and how they go about things and here's another example of my presentation style okay this is actually on my blog and as you can see there a tour around our Thai village once again promoting the fact and as you can see at the top there Peter Beckham and the village marketer right once again promoting the idea that I'm located in, in a remote little Thai village but this guy is enthusiastic I try to be conversational and I try to give doses of reality as often as I can now other people are much more in your face than I am some of them are really hard-hitting some of them use foul language I mean whatever turns you on right the key issue is come up with a presentation style that's authentic to you that can help differentiate you from everybody else online that is what you're aiming at trying to do in terms of your personal branding okay I mean you can even see here in my blog comments maybe it's a bit difficult to read but once again I'm reinforcing my unique location okay by simply signing off all my blog comment replies to best wishes from the remote Thai village marketer I do that consistently okay to try and make sure that people remember me as the remote Thai village marketer or the remote Thai village blogger now another way you can brand yourself is in your logo right this one for example from Ryan Dice okay up there the digital marketer he is a very clever marketer indeed there's no doubt about that that looks a very simple logo right but it's so well recognized and you can come up with a logo yourself there in fact you can you can create your own logos for free there are free logo creating uh, software on the internet just go and google them and find out for yourself but your logo is important it's all part of your branding it's all part of the recognition process okay I mean I mean there's mine very simple right this is on my blog as you can see up the top there Peter Beckham I'm the village marketer with the banana tree okay that's all part of our Thai village again this is recognition but I combine it also this is the home page of my blog with this thing of this guy lost in the fog right feeling lost and confused online this is all part of the theme my target audience are people who are just starting off online or they are been going for a while but they got confused etc so this guy the village marketer right from some remote little Thai village is out there holding his hand out to try and help them get going that's the message I'm trying to give with that logo and that theme now another very clever way to brand yourselves and in fact an essential way is in the value you give I mean the, the secret is to provide great value before people buy this is so very very important I mean just recently for example I gave out some free training about uh, there was one lot about video marketing there was some more about free traffic leads uh, sorry about free traffic and another one about list building and I used I gave out those free content to people in order for them to think hey this guy might be worth doing business with all right sure I could have got them to opt into an email list to do it but I actually gave it to them directly in fact what I did was I uploaded it to Dropbox and gave them the access to it and they could and they could just get the information that they wanted from me directly that way and it worked I built a relationship with them which is all part of the branding exercise anyway right so the secret there was to give good value before I tried to sell things to them before they bought anything or joined me or or converted with me in any way shape or form now 
I learnt this lesson from a variety of people, but someone who is famous for it is Frank Kern, and he refers to it as results in advance. Frank Kern, one of the best marketers online, right? Okay, and he does such brilliant sales presentations. And in fact, they're so good that the training, in the training itself, you can get takeaway skills that you can actually go and implement and get results with, right? Now, think for how that positions Frank as far as you're concerned, because he gives you these skills in the sales presentation, not a training program, in a sales presentation. And then at the end of the sales presentation, he then offers you a higher level of offer, right? That you pay for this time, right? But he's doing it to an audience that's already experienced success using his training. I mean, how powerful can that be? That is a brilliant way to brand yourself. So he's all about not just giving results in advance, he's all about giving value because he knows for sure if you give value, sales will follow. And another very well-known marketer who actually gives great value is Gary Vaynerchuk. Here you can see a, a screenshot from his YouTube channel, right? I mean, he gives unbelievable value. There's no doubt about that. And he also says it, truly, he says it what he thinks. Sometimes it comes out pretty rough, but I can tell you, what he's prepared to share with you is absolutely incredible value. And not only that, this guy, who's a multi-millionaire marketer, responds to every single comment that's left for him. There's a message for you as well as part of your branding, right? Never be too big to answer people who request information of you or give you comments or leave you questions, whatever. That is one of Gary's strengths. There's no doubt about that. So, brand yourself as someone of value. And I can tell you, it's really easy to stand out from the crowd. It really is. Because 90% of the marketers out there are pitch merchants. Okay, They don't educate at all. They just sell, 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 sell. So it's easy to stand out from the crowd because all you need to do is start to educate people. And three words you should bear in mind. Learn, do, teach. Learn something. Implement it. And then teach or share what your experiences were. So why not differentiate yourself and educate your way to sales success? I mean, it's a perfect way to do it. There's no doubt about that. So let's look at it. Branding, what does it do? It makes you look recognizable, right? Because it's all recognition. Secondly, it makes you look more professional. Thirdly, it gives you a more established look about yourself, right? Even if you've only been online for weeks or so, if you've got some sort of branding in place, it gives you the chance to look established. But branding also builds your credibility and it helps build the know, like and trust factors for you. And of course, brand yourself as the go to person for something, as I mentioned earlier, become skilled in something. It doesn't matter what it is. Just educate yourself. Maybe it's list building. Maybe it's video marketing. Maybe, maybe it's blogging. Maybe it doesn't matter. Whatever it is. Skill yourself in something and then build a brand around you being one of the go to people for that particular skill, right? That's the key issue. Because what you're really doing with your personal branding is to build a brand around being a value provider. That's the perception you've got to give to people. Because once you're a value provider, you will not be forgotten. And I can tell you, people will talk about you. And word of mouth is still the most effective form of free advertising, even online. That's what social media is all about, okay? Build your brand around being a value provider and you will be recognized and you will be remembered and people will come to you. The result is pitch less, sell more. That's the message for today. I hope you found it helpful. All the best. Bye for now.